Hey guys, so the new One UI 8 update didn't turn out the way you hoped. Maybe it feels a bit laggy or the battery isn't lasting like before. Well, don't worry. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to downgrade from One UI 8 to One UI 7 or even One UI 6 or simply downgrade any Samsung phone from Android 16 to Android 14 or 15, all using a PC or computer. Whether you're using a Galaxy A series, M series, or even the flagship S series, this guide works for all. But before we start, just a quick note. This method works for most Samsung phones, but not all. It depends on your bootloader version. We'll talk about that in detail later in the video. But this process will erase all data on your phone, including apps, photos, and files. So make sure to back up everything important first. And let's get started. Now let me quickly show you which device I'm using. As you can see, this is the Samsung Galaxy S23 running One UI 8 based on Android 16. And we're going to downgrade it, switching from One UI 8 back to One UI 6 or One UI 7. To begin the process, we need to enable USB debugging. So go to Settings, scroll down to About Phone, then tap on Software Information. Now tap on Build Number 7 times until you see the message saying Developer Mode has been enabled. Once that's done, go back and open Developer Options from the Settings menu. In Developer option, scroll down until you find USB debugging, then turn it on. This option allows your phone to communicate properly with your PC. Next, we need to download the correct firmware for our device. So let's switch over to the PC screen. Alright, on your PC, open any browser and head over to samfow.com. This is the website we'll use to download the official Samsung firmware for your device. Once you're there, click on other tools and then select check IMA. Now we'll need your device's serial number. To find it, open settings on your phone, go to about phone and you'll see the serial number listed there. Copy that number and enter it on the SamFW website to fetch the correct firmware details. Once you enter the serial number, click on Check Info and Firmware. And there you go. You'll now see complete details about your Samsung device, including the exact model number, Android version, region, and more. Now scroll down a bit and click on the second option that says Download Firmware with Region. So here we have all the firmware versions listed for your device. Now let's check which firmware is currently installed on your phone. To do that, go back to your phone and scroll down to software information in the settings. Here, look for the build number. In my case, it's something like this. The important part is the end letters, like I5, which indicate the firmware version. So here you can see the version that says I5 at the top. That means my phone is running on the latest firmware and its Android version is 16. Now this part is really important, the bit number, which is 8 in my case. Think of this bit number like a lock. You can only flash firmware that has the same bit number like bit 8. If you try to flash an older one like bit 7, it just won't work. Odin will give an error. So make sure to look through the list and find an Android 14 or Android 15 firmware that matches your phone and has the same bit number. I'm going to download this one here, the one ending with BD which is Android 14 and Bit8 compatible. Just click the download button and the firmware will begin downloading in a few seconds. As you can see, the download has started and the file size is around 13 gigabytes, but I'm going to cancel this since I already have the same firmware downloaded earlier. So here are our four main files, the Samsung USB drivers, Odin tool, and the firmware. First, let's install the Samsung USB drivers. Just double click the setup file and follow the steps to install it. I'll skip this part since the drivers are already installed on my PC. Next, extract the firmware zip file, which you downloaded earlier. You'll also need to download Odin, the tool we'll use for flashing. The download link is in the description, so go ahead and extract the Odin zip as well. Next, open the Odin folder and run odin.exe. This tool is what allows us to flash firmware on Samsung phones, and it's how we'll downgrade to One UI 6 or Android 14. Now inside Odin, click on the BL button and select the BL file from your extracted firmware folder. 
Next, click on the AP button and choose the AP file. This one might take a few seconds to load since it's the largest file. Once the AP file is loaded, move on to the CP button and select the CP file from the firmware folder. After that, click on the CSC button. Here, make sure to select the file named CSC. Choosing CSC will completely wipe your device and perform a clean downgrade, which is exactly what we need. So, once all four files are loaded into Odin, it's time to put the phone into download mode. First, connect your phone to the PC and restart it. As soon as the Samsung logo disappears, press and hold volume up and volume down buttons together. Keep holding until you see a blue warning screen. Now just press volume up once and your device will enter download mode. You'll now see added in Odin. This means your device has been successfully detected and is connected to a COM port. Now all you have to do is click the start button in Odin and the downgrade process will begin. Once you click the start button, Odin will begin flashing the Android 14 firmware onto your Samsung device. You'll see progress bars in Odin. Do not disconnect the device during this process. It usually takes around 5 to 10 minutes to complete. Let me fast forward this process. And yes, as you can see, we've got the pass message in Odin and the device is now rebooting automatically. The first boot might take a bit longer than usual, so don't panic. Since the phone was formatted during the process, it'll take you straight to the setup screen. So let me quickly fast forward through the initial setup and then we'll continue. If your device gets stuck in recovery mode, don't worry. Just use volume and power buttons to select format, then format the device manually and reboot it. And yes, the device has now booted and we're finally back on One UI 6, the best and most stable version of Samsung's interface. Let's quickly confirm it inside the settings. And yes, as you can see, the One UI version is 6.1 and the Android version is 14, exactly what we wanted. So there is how you can downgrade from One UI 8, Android 16, back to One UI 6, Android 14 on your Samsung phone. Alright, that's enough from my side. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Samsung tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.